Canada's Minister of National Defence is slamming China over a dangerous encounter with a Canadian aircraft. The Canadian Cyclone helicopter was in international airspace. It's not the first time China's military has been accused of aggressive behaviour in neutral airspace. The CBC's Olivia Stefanovic is following the story and she joins us live from Ottawa. So Olivia, what more do we know about what took place about this incident? Well, Andrew, National Defense Minister Bill Blair calls this a concerning event. It occurred last Sunday in the South Pacific Sea, and it involved one of Canada's Tsiolkovsky Cyclone helicopters, a CH-148. And Blair says that this helicopter was conducting routine operations when it was intercepted by a Chinese People's Liberation Army fighter aircraft. Now, this is not unusual. These interceptions do happen, and in fact, Blair says that the first initial uh, interception was in fact safe, but there were two other interceptions that he deemed unsafe. And so the first one involved a Chinese jet that passed over the Canadian helicopter with such little separation, Andrew, that it caused turbulence in this Canadian helicopter, and the crew had to essentially regain control of the helicopter. Then on the same day, there was another unsafe interception by a Chinese a jet, and this involved a fighter jet that launched flares in front of the Canadian helicopter, and the Canadian helicopter had to maneuver to avoid being hit. Now, in both of these cases, Andrew, the Canadian crew were safe and the aircraft was not damaged, but these are two close calls that uh, Minister Blair says is unsafe and unprofessional, and he's highlighting uh, this as a serious concern. Let's take a listen to what he had to say a little earlier about this. We were there doing our job, and, and it, is, it is routine that these interceptions will take place, but our expectation is that they, they will take place in a way which is both professional and safe. And unfortunately, what we've seen in, in the most recent incidents, on two occasions, the actions of the People's Republic uh, fighter jet were, were deemed to be significantly unsafe. And, and we'll express our concerns to the People's Republic of China about that. So, Andrew, Minister Blair went on to say that it, these, you know, interceptions are not unusual, but he does want to highlight this concern because he says Canada often conducts these operations to maintain, uh, you know, the, the safety of conducting uh, operations with allies in the South China Sea and to maintain uh, free passage in these international waterways. And I should also mention that the South China Sea, you know, it's home to a third of the global uh, trade supply in the world. Uh, trillions of dollars go past in the sea uh, all the time, Andrew. So this is a significant area uh, that Canada wants to make sure it can still uh, operate in safely. And Olivia, China has faced accusations like this before. Tell us about that. Yeah, this is not the first time that Minister Blair himself has raised the alarm about the actions by China in this sea. In fact, just a short time ago, he highlighted the fact that a Chinese jet had come within five meters of a Canadian surveillance plane that was taking part in a UN operation to enforce sanctions against North Korea. So that just happened recently. And last year in June, uh, Canada also accused Chinese warplanes of harassing its patrol aircraft. And Canada is not alone in these concerns, uh, uh, Andrew. Our allies have also raised the alarm over this, including Washington. And the Pentagon just recently highlighted unnecessary aggressive uh, behavior near a U.S. military plane in these same, same waters, Andrew. Olivia, thank you. That is the CBC's Olivia Stefanovic live in Ottawa. So for more on this, I want to bring in Billy Flynn. He's a former Royal Canadian Air Force combat commander and a retired F-35 senior test pilot. Billy, welcome to the program. I appreciate you taking the time. Thank you. Andrew, good to talk to you today. So just how dangerous can a close encounter like this be with a fighter jet and a cyclone helicopter? Well, clearly the Chinese pilots are being brash, aggressive, and in this case, unsafe. The saying goes that a pilot can't win a war, but he can lose a war. Um, ejecting flares from a fighter jet, a flare is a, necessarily a, it, it's a small canister that holds a pyrotechnic. Uh, that, that canister, if it was ingested in the engines of a cyclone or hit the rotor blades, could conceivably cause major damage and, and potentially uh, a, a fatal accident. So you're not far off from causing a major incident if uh, these pilots get it wrong. And, and 
go back in history, in April 2001, a Chinese fighter hit an American uh, EP-3 spy plane. That's a lot like the Canadian Aurora patrol planes. It hit a plane, the pilot uh, was killed, and that uh, airplane had to uh, divert into China and crash land. Uh, we know from recent history, Russian fighter pilots getting too close to drones have crashed and crashed the drones. So imagine it won't take much for a Chinese pilot to make a mistake and do real harm of it there. I mean, you know, to hear uh, that it came, so, it, there was very little separation, uh, that it caused turbulence, uh, that the flares caused uh, the, the helicopter to have to kind of, uh, you know, get out of the way of these, these flares, I mean, to, to sort of evade uh, these flares and r maybe remind us about how a helicopter just can't maneuver that quickly, right? Certainly not as quickly as a fighter jet. So is it even more dangerous uh, for, for a helicopter trying to uh, deal with an incident like this? Certainly for a helicopter, less maneuverable than even the Auroras, which we've been talking about in the Canadian media and their close calls, both those aircraft aren't maneuverable in that sense. And so, yeah, they're sitting ducks out there for an aggressive fighter pilot to make a single mistake and cause an accident. So it's impossible to know the motivations from the Chinese pilots who say aggressive, brash uh, behavior. Would this be something that uh, would come from uh, higher up in terms of encouraging this kind of behavior by these pilots uh, to, to an incident like this? Andrew, I don't imagine that they were given orders to get that close, to be that aggressive, to, to uh, be that bold. I can imagine that the, the fighter pilots had their fangs out, too much testosterone flowing, and were too aggressive, uh, but not on orders from uh, their seniors. I don't imagine that was the cause of it all. What would be going on uh, inside the minds of helicopter pilots and the crew while this is happening in terms of just trying to avoid something catastrophic from potentially happening? Well, remember, they can't avoid very much. They can't move. The smartest thing they can do is not move so that the fighter jet would miss the dam. There really are targets out there. And uh, I'm sure it is not comfortable to be buzzed by a fighter jet when you're just doing your mission in, a, in this case, a Sikorsky cyclone, cyclone helicopter, but the same thing with the Aurora patrol planes. They're just out there doing their jobs, not expecting someone to take a, a run at them and cause a close call. Is, there, is this something pilots uh, in the area should just expect to happen? Do you think more often because of uh, the tensions that exist uh, between Canada, the U.S., uh, and other countries and China? Well, I expect since we've seen a rash of these lately, I expect these would continue until something major happens or until the Canadian government, the U.S. government, raise enough alarms that the Chinese, the PLA, uh, pay attention and back off. And until something major happens, these close calls are going to continue. Billy, thank you for taking the time to talk to us. Billy Flynn is a former RCAF combat commander and F-35 senior test pilot. Good talking to you. Thank you for watching the CBC Manitoba YouTube channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. For the latest breaking news and top stories, download the CBC News app.